This is the Sunday motivational video. Every Sunday, we bring you a different type of video which should improve your life. Today, we're looking at 15 businesses you can start for cheap or even free. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. You guys have been buzzing us to make this video for so long and we are finally doing it. Starting a business is a very tiresome process, especially since you have no idea what you're doing, even more so if you're just starting out and don't have enough of a backing to give you that initial push. Before we start this list, we want to get across one point which we find incredibly valuable. It's not money invested that makes a business successful, it's the time and effort put into it by the people who are the business. Early on, you're not going to have crazy money to throw around, so you'll have to get creative and give it your all if you want to succeed. Money just speeds things up, and if you have it, make sure to use it, but don't expect to just throw money at problems and make them go away. The goal here is that by the end of this video, you'll have at least a couple of business ideas that you can start and grow, as well as some resources to make that happen. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. With all that said, here are 15 businesses you can start for cheap or even free with examples of people who worked these models to success. Number 1. Market a crazy idea and get people to back you up. No matter what business you're going to start, you need to be able to promote it and draw in customers. The better your product is, the easier it will be to market. The interesting part is that even if the product is not so incredible, you might still get those sales if your story is good enough and the customer sees value in the acquisition. People will pre-purchase your product even before there is one. The first example that comes to mind is Cards Against Humanity, who are a massive success among one of the most competitive spaces, board games. They started out with an idea of a card game for horrible people, put it on Kickstarter with the goal of raising $4,000 to print their first edition. People were interested and they raised even more. Two years later, they had generated $25 million in revenue, and to this day, it's still one of the best-selling card games out there. So how did this all happen? Through mastering the art of storytelling and marketing, they managed to keep the spotlight on the product through innovative marketing campaigns like selling people a box labeled bullshit for $6 each, which literally contained bull poop, or buying a piece of land at the border with Mexico so Trump can build his wall. By the way, they made $180,000 by selling the poop boxes, despite them making it clear to everyone that they would be delivered feces, real feces. Pet Rock is another incredible example we've touched upon on our channel, making over $15 million in six months and selling off the rights for a cool amount in the end. If you know how to tell a story, your life will be so much easier. Number 2. Create specific content for people on Patreon People are willing to contribute to your efforts of creating quality content or putting in the work for them and delivering it in an easy-to-consume manner. No matter what your skill is, it's enough to have 1,000 loyal fans willing to pay you $5 a month in order for you to sustain yourself and pursue your craft. This has proven to be an excellent alternative for people here on YouTube. For example, here are three people who are doing well over half a million dollars from Patreon because their followers wish they keep doing what they're doing. Philly D has been our go-to source on news for years now. The support from his followers allows him to remain independent and not be constrained by the rules of traditional news agencies. Sam Harris, neuroscientist, philosopher, and advocate for scientific progress in the detriment of religion, has built quite a following supporting his talks and efforts to spread his approach to these topics. Lastly, one of our personal favorite channels here on YouTube, Kyrgyzat, in a nutshell, makes incredibly cool animated videos on topics related to science, breaking down topics like alien life, black holes, and immortality in easy-to-follow formats. If people think what you're doing is valuable, they will support you with their wallets. Number 3. Build a Cosmetics Brand 
We're living through the golden age of cosmetic companies. It's never been easier to start your own makeup brand. The competition might be fierce, but the reward is definitely still there. One of the most notable people who went from nothing to multi-millionaire off of makeup is Jeffree Star. After a failed career in music, he took his remaining $4,000 and produced a small run of lip glosses, which he sold off of his YouTube channel. Once those were gone, he took the profits and did it again. Four years later, he's making a killing. Jeffree Star Cosmetics is generating between $100 and $150 million per year right now, and the growth trend is still there. The goal here is to find a facility that can put together the product for you so you can focus your time on marketing it. This is one of the most exciting business models of our age. Kylie Jenner leveraged her family fame to start her line, and she's soon to become a billionaire of makeup products. But we'll go into detail about how she's doing that through dropshipping and private labeling at number 10 on this list. Number 4. Course Building No matter what you do, you're likely to have some knowledge that would be valuable to someone else. Why not structure it so other people can learn that specific skill? People would gladly pay for a solution to a problem or to acquire that new skill. Online courses are the future of education, or at least a highly important part of that future. We ourselves have learned more practical things from YouTube videos and courses than we did from actual school. There are plenty of platforms online that allow you to build and sell your own course. Take it a step further and you end up with an e-learning company. There are two examples that swiftly come to mind when we think about this space. The first one is Linda. Not sure how many of you are familiar with this platform, but it all began in the mid-1990s when the founder, Linda Weinman, wanted a better way to teach her art students, so she started recording her lessons so she doesn't have to do repetitive work. As of 2013, she was doing over $100 million in revenue, and in late 2015, she sold the company to LinkedIn for $1.5 billion. She jokingly said it was a 20-year overnight success. A very similar story you can find in Pluralsight, who earlier in 2018 went public with a valuation of $1.7 billion. We found this space so damn interesting that just a couple of months ago, we began the production of our first course on meditation, from beginner to master, by flying to Bali, Indonesia, to film and produce it. We'll make an announcement once the final product is available. Number 5 start a blog and build an audience. This has been the model we've used to build our own company. It all starts with a domain name, then hosting, and then you're off to the races. Today, there are even free options to building this type of process, but if you're serious about it, you can at least spend a few dollars on getting yourself a proper .com domain. This is probably the first thing we recommend to people who are just starting out. Create a blog and build an audience. It's the most valuable education you can get in your early days because it will force you to learn so many useful skills, like how to brand, how to promote, how to be consistent in your message, how to drive traffic followed by how to to monetize and how to build a business. It all starts with the first step. Places like Instagram and Facebook also allow you to build on their platform, but in our experience, it's always better for you to be the owner of your platform. Otherwise, a small change in their algorithm, something out of your control, can have dire consequences for your business. We are in the mindset of completely redoing our website, especially because of this. Sure, YouTube is a great place for us, but we've grown to a point where our success can't be reliant on a single platform that you don't own yourself. Now we can afford complex server infrastructure, but when we were starting out, we went for the cheapest option out there that got the job done. If this is something you're interested in, go to alux.com slash website and build your own blog with the folks at Bluehost for just $3 a month. They even throw in the domain name for free. You're one click away from having your own blog. Setting up your website is the foundation of everything you'll do as a business person, so get started. Number 6. Event or Holiday Planner Okay, you have your website, but what exactly do you offer? 
Your website serves as a central point for people to find who you are and what you offer. We live in a really busy world and people are outsourcing anything they can think of. Figure out what people are not willing to do themselves or simply can't do that well and you have yourself a business. We've identified two companies who basically do the same thing in different geographies, which you can do in your own country if you want. Yes Girls in the US and Proposers in the UK. Basically, they create the perfect proposal for you. They figure out the restaurant, the flowers, the music in order to get that perfect moment. Why we love what they've done is because they have identified a problem. Men who are not romantic types or do not have enough time on their hands to plan something like this. For a couple of hundred bucks, you can have a professional take care of it for you. And they're currently making a killing being booked for the following year, which means the demand is still there. And no wonder why. We've seen an uptick in services who arrange bachelor and bachelorette parties for the same reason. People don't have time or the know-how to put it together themselves. Travel agencies are a thing of the past, which got killed by the rise of the internet. But a new breed of service has made its way into the culture, that of private concierge services. Basically, someone will sit down or Skype with you about what your dream holiday will look like, and they'll figure out how to make it happen on your budget. From activities to tickets to hotels, you're simply outsourcing the hassle of sorting these things out onto someone else. The same model can be replicated numerous times across different needs and geographies. So have some fun figuring out how to make it work for yourself. Number 7. Publish Your Own Book If you have a story or an idea for a book that others might find worth the read, you're one lucky individual. There's never been a better time to get your new book in front of people. For years, you had to secure an agent, an agency to take you in and backroll a press tour and an advertising campaign in order for people to hear about you. These days, you write it and you post it online. Amazon has made it super easy for people to self-publish their own books. Just write it and sell it as an ebook. You don't even need to print anything. A perfect example is writer E.L. James. Her books were turned down by multiple agencies for being mediocre in writing, so she decided to self-publish them as ebooks and print on demand. The title of this book? Fifty Shades of Grey. A couple of years later, her books are a worldwide phenomenon, with over 125 million copies sold and a series of movies, earning over $1 billion. You have the tools to make it happen. It's just a matter of putting in the work and standing out in the crowd. Number 8. Tutor Kids if you're looking to make some money quickly, tutoring kids is probably your best bet. Parents are willing to spend extra money in order to make sure their kids get a step ahead of the curve. If you're really young and the rest of the business ideas mentioned in this video are somewhat outside of your grasp, this is probably your best bet to get some cash coming your way. It's all about being creative and figuring out what people are willing to pay for. One of the most interesting things we found in this space is that parents are now paying $20 per hour for tutors to improve their kids at Fortnite. Yes, you heard that right. Culture is something really interesting that constantly is shifting, with esports being a massive trend in the past few years and universities even offering scholarships for esports players. Tutoring your kid to play video games isn't such an outrageous idea as it might sound. Parents read headlines about ninjas earning half a million dollars per month from streaming and want their kids to explore alternative options, so they're willing to throw a couple of hundred dollars that way to see what happens. Number 9. Freelancing Your Skills Freelancing is a great way to start acquiring some experience and eventually moving into creating a business out of it or securing a job you really love. Sometimes you can do both. The most popular freelance options are web design, writing, editing, programming, and even crazy things just for fun. There's nothing like earning your first few bucks from a service you rendered to make you understand what needs to happen in order to grow this into an actual company. That's how most advertising agencies start Art, with a couple of freelancers coming together and forming a business. Freelancer and Upwork are currently the most popular platforms. Number 10. Dropshipping on your own online store 
Dropshipping is a beautiful thing because you can make money without doing any of the heavy lifting. So how does this work? We mentioned Kylie Jenner's cosmetics empire earlier, so we'll go with that. She found a supplier who takes care of everything from production to packaging to delivery. The next thing was her team set her up with an online store where they listed all of her products. Her only job is to promote the website and those products. When an order comes in, it gets directly sent to the supplier who fulfills it on behalf of Kylie. Her company gets the money from the sale and at the end of the month pays a fraction of that amount to the supplier. Everything else is hers to keep. And that right there is how you build a billion dollar company with only 14 people on your team. You simply outsource the rest. What's incredible is you can create an online store in minutes and then use your social media accounts to promote it. One of the most successful people in this space is Greta Von Riel, who built five multi-million dollar businesses in five years using this exact model. She's the one who made Skinny Me Tea a million dollar company in six months, starting with only $24 in her bank account. Her second business made $1 million in one day when she launched. It all starts with an online store. If this is the type of business you'd like to start, then go to alux.com slash sell and sign up. You'll get access to the same tools Greta used to build all of her stores. Even better, because of our partnership with them, you'll get two weeks to play around with Shopify for free. No credit card required. They make it super easy to find suppliers. Set up your store and get paid. It's time to get to work, Aluxers. Number 11. Airbnb Co-Host we love Airbnb. We use it when we travel and we love the way the company is growing. The main way to make money out of Airbnb is by renting your space, very much like a hotel would do, but there's another approach to this. Maintaining the approach we mentioned in number six on this list, there are people who don't have the time to do this and are looking to outsource that to someone else. That's where co-hosts come into play. You can actively rent out other people's places and retain a large portion of the amount. All you have to do is talk to guests and make sure their rental experience goes the way it should. The percentage is negotiable between the owner and the co-host, but it's usually a 30% deal, which is really great considering you're not putting anything down up front as a co-host. We have a friend who has a portfolio of over 20 properties that he manages, which is now a full-on business with staff and offices. It's all about that hustle. Number 12. Flipping Goods Flipping means buying something for cheap and reselling it for a higher price. This is one of the oldest models to make money and it's still relevant today. It used to be baseball cards, now it's sneakers. You can do this with anything as long as you understand the value of an item. It doesn't matter if we're talking about supreme bricks, vintage polos, or real estate. Some of you may know of Sofia Amoruso, the founder of NastyGal.com. She started going to flea markets and buying secondhand clothes for cheap and reselling them on eBay for a much higher price. Repeat that for a couple of years and she was doing over $300 million in sales before selling the company to Boohoo. In one of our previous videos, we mentioned a kid by the name of Benjamin Kicks, who made millions by reselling hyped up sneakers to celebrities while he was 16 years old. Both of these people understood there's a demand for a particular product that's not widely accessible to everyone. And just a quick mention, did you know there's actually a business plan on their website on how to retire a millionaire by reselling Supreme Goods? Times are changing and those who are willing to put in the work will capitalize on it. Number 13. Social Media Management Every company out there, including us, is struggling to keep up with their social media presence. That's where you come in. Take some of that burden off the shoulders of the company and get paid. The most important thing to deliver is results for the company in question. Social media is not just about posting some pictures so that there is some activity on your profile. It's a branding strategy and a growth funnel, which means you actually need to know what the hell you're doing before you look for work in this field. The good thing is, gaining that knowledge is free. Simply create an Instagram page and get it to 50,000 followers organically. That journey from zero to 50,000 will teach you everything you need to know in order to find work in this space. 
New platforms are popping up every couple of years, so it's safe to say that there will always be work for those who know how to play in this field. A good example of this is Gary Vaynerchuk. He built a $100 million company out of social media services for brands. Number 14. Online and Offline Tech Support Here's an interesting realization. Most older people have no idea how to use technology. If you've ever visited your older relatives, you've probably had to reset routers, uninstall browser extensions, and delete your father's search history. There's a really high demand for people who can jump in and fix simple computer issues. While most service providers do offer some sort of call center support, it's not always tailored to your situation. We're so accustomed to Googling solutions for our own problems that we forget there's a large portion of the population who has no idea how to do that. 63% of people over 60 prefer to receive tech support via telephone. How weird is it to say telephone these days? IT services for the elderly have become a booming business sector because there is a real demand for these services and a large portion of the population who doesn't have a nephew on hand to install Netflix for them. Number 15. Start a Consulting Company What's all this consulting business about? Basically, a company or individual will hire you for your expertise in a particular field for a specific period of time. It's the same concept as before, but this time, companies are willing to pay you money in order to outsource some of their work onto you. The clear advantage is that companies are higher ticket items with larger budgets to play around with. While as a freelancer you are putting in the effort to find a single client for a couple of hundred dollars, this time you're putting in the same amount of work into securing a customer, only the payout is 100 times that of a freelancer. The industry typically has a low barrier of entry in terms of investment and manpower. You can start with just one person, yourself, and once you start bringing in clients, you can expand. You can start a consulting business as a side gig and move into it full time once the money starts coming in. A couple of examples are two high school friends who, at the age of 27, decided to create a consulting company called Vector Media in the IT space. They made $1.2 million dollars in their first year. Neil Patel made millions from SEO optimization for clients to now running one of the biggest digital agencies in the space. It's all about getting really good at what you offer and then finding bigger and bigger ticket customers to pay you. These are all super easy to start businesses that don't need capital to start or at least not much. One of the books we really loved and found valuable before we started Alex was The $100 Startup. It's filled with case studies and strategies about how you can build big businesses without money. The audiobook is fairly expensive at $25, but if you go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up, you can get it for free as a courtesy of our partnership with Audible. No matter which business you decide to pursue, it's worth a listen. Now, Alexers, we're curious to know, which of these business ideas do you find the most interesting and would you love to try for yourself? Let us know in the comments and we'll join the conversation. And as a thank you for watching what is already a really long video, we have some bonus info for those of you who stuck around. Number 16. Please don't become a life coach or a business coach. The number of people who decide to become a life coach or a business coach without having their own lives in order or ever running a business is too damn high. It's easy to think you could be a motivational speaker or teach other people how to optimize and run their businesses. It's a trap most young people quickly fall into and the market outs them as a fraud. Focus on solving your own problems and only then lend out a helping hand. Real entrepreneurs let their work speak for them. If you're ready to take on the world and stop postponing taking action, please write the word ready in the comment section so we know who's going to take action. Don't be one of those people who only talks about their plans. True Alexers make moves while everyone else is daydreaming. Thank you for spending some time with us, Alexers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.